of Homestead Homies. Welcome back to the Homestead. I'm out here kind of doing a little surveillance because we've had horrible storms. And so I'm checking everything in the garden and everything is just shooting up. My kale looks good and my lettuce and everything is looking good. My Swiss chard is doing good over here. And my herbs. I have some Thai basil over there. So everything looks like it's rocking. And I can't keep up with my arugula, but it's like my favorite. I eat it all the time. Mmm. Got to have an arugula salad tonight. So while she's giving you the garden tour, I thought I'd jump in real quick and let you guys know how the water catchment system's doing for the garden area. There was one problem that I um, discovered as we were getting all the rains. We've been getting heavy rains for the last couple days, like really like heavy in the morning, a little break, or heavy at night. So you can see that we're at 400 gallons in here and I did pump probably 250 or something, maybe close to 300. So we got almost 100 gallons off of the range that we have had. So what I noticed was that, A, um, I put a regular downspout on here and connected my hose to there. What I did was now is I put a 90 on here, which is working out a lot better. But the problem is, is the hose comes over and then the water sits here and it'll start to sag a little bit. So for right now, I've propped this board up against here. But what I'm gonna actually do is run another um, thing of plumber's tape over the um, hose, the drain tile, and then that way it'll hold the tip of that down so that way the water will flow right into the tank. So there's an improvement for you if you're thinking about something like this. All right, and how about this, guys? My sweet potatoes that we put in little, I think about a week ago, are doing really, really well. They really perked up since after I put them in. We did a video on how to start your own potato slips. We'll link that one above. And if you can look over here, I went ahead and threw a few of these sugar snap peas, and I need to put a kale panel up because they are getting kind of big. So we put some on the edge there. So I thought those would be fun for spring. I kind of put some. I try to get a little extra insurance. I'll put some you know peas here maybe something over here and that way if, if something doesn't good one do good one place it'll do good someplace else so i try to have like a little extra in every box so i'm sitting in front of the blueberries right now one thing about the back to eden garden area is blueberries love it because they're acidic and pretty much the soil of the black of the back to eden garden is acidic as well so we're getting a lot of good um starts here coming on for the blueberries so that'll be pretty good. We don't have that many blueberry plants. We're gonna be planting more um, as time goes on. And don't forget, if you don't get your stuff in early in the spring, you can always wait till fall and they'll always have those great sales at all your local nurseries <laughs> trying to get rid of everything that they've been nursing all summer long. So keep that in mind too. The blackberries are looking really good as you can see. We have some flowers coming on there. We got a lot of uh, sunflowers in there too that'll be popping up. So everything's doing good. And I just planted this not that long ago, some white popcorn, some heirloom popcorn, and uh, it's coming up okay. I think it needs a little shot in the arm though. I'm gonna have to put some liquid nitrogen on it. We did a, a video on some free fertilizer, a high nitrogen fertilizer. I can't remember the name of it, but we'll link it above. And here are my very, very happy plants. I love these. These are my red noodle beans. I can't wait, they all came up. So I'm excited, so they'll hopefully climb up here and uh, we'll be looking good. So you can have an update on that in the next couple of weeks and see how they look.
Well, so there's a little bit of a garden update for you guys. We're going to try to keep you guys uh, in tune with what's going on in our garden. And maybe uh, you can uh, share what's going on in your garden too. So this is the first time I think we've used the old cowboy grill. How do you like it? Oh, I love it. The bugs have been so bad. And so hopefully this will kind of keep them at bay. They've been biting the heck out of me around my neck. Those little black fly <laughs> things. They're just really terrible this year. The ticks are the worst ever. Let us know in the comments below if the ticks are bad where you are. I can't remember the ticks ever being this bad. They're terrible. We're finding them everywhere. Like when we're driving the in the car and I mean they're crawling on the seats. They're everywhere. So now we're going to talk to you guys about the speakers and about the conference in August in Hannibal, Missouri called the Homesteading Life Conference. Now this is the first time Stacy and I have ever in, you know, engaged in something of this magnitude and I think we've done a pretty good job in short notice of pulling it off. We have a great venue, um, the Star Theater in downtown Hannibal. It's air conditioned. We want to make you guys weak when you come. <laughs> Well, we, when you come in August, be outside. yeah, yeah because outside. you know the thing is, is like you know we live this way, but you know we don't push it on other people. So we do have an air conditioned venue for you guys, and you will appreciate it in August. And we have a lot of really cool speakers. I've been working really hard to get a great lineup for you guys, so you get the most information as possible for the conference. So a few of the speakers that we have are um, Flower, Flower Toomey, and she is like a master herbalist, knows everything you want to know about herbs and healing, plants, medicine, I mean all these wonderful things and so I'm very excited to have her. Yeah, she actually has a PhD in herbalism and all that stuff and natural healing. Uh, we have Dr. Don Huber, uh, he's a GMO and glyphosate professional, like they say expert. he's one of the top experts in the field in our country and um, we have uh, Dr. Leo. He is actually uh, from Horizontal Hives. He does natural beekeeping, so he's gonna teach you guys how to raise bees or talk about bees in a natural way, so no more sugar water and, and buying bees for nukes and all that stuff. He's gonna talk to you guys about, you know, like snagging um, a swarm and creating your bees that way. That way you're getting local bees and stronger bees. We have a guy, Derek, uh, who is going to be talking about solar power. He actually lives in the desert in Arizona completely on solar power and runs air conditioning and all that stuff. So that'll be a really good speak for you guys. Um, and then Mike on microgreens. Yeah, Mike is going to be doing market gardening. Yes, and market um, gardening. He, he does it. He makes a living, feeds his family, uh, having a market garden. And he's going to talk to you guys about that. So, you know, we're just trying to bring to you guys the skills that you can learn so you can have a homestead and maybe quit that job that you don't like and ways that you can make money on your homestead, and that's why we bring you this information. And we're gonna also have a lot of hands-on kind of workshops going on all day long. So, you know, quite a few throughout each day. There'll, there'll be soap making going on, learning how to make your own tinctures, learning how to make flower essences, learning how to make salve, making um, kombucha, or learning, you know, making a ferment out of vegetables. Just lots of different hands-on things will be going on throughout the whole day doing the elderberry juice. Awesome. Yeah, how to make elderberry juice from either dried elderberries or even frozen elderberries or just elderberries that you pick. Uh, we have, I think a blacksmith guy might be showing up. You know, we're working on a few more things about that, but we got a lot of really neat stuff for you guys. So it's a two day event, August 12th and 13th and in Hannibal, Missouri. Stuff too. So this is, just, yeah, we still have some things we'll tell you. Yeah, it's gonna be a great time. So the website's up, the information's down below. Now here's the kickers, we only have 700 tickets per day uh, for you guys to gobble up. So it's first come, first serve, get your tickets right away. We did announce it on the Facebook page already, so people are already getting tickets. So we want you guys to take full advantage of that. Hopefully you can come to Hannibal. And we got another bunch of things set up for you guys that are outside of that. Like you could become the potter for the day with Steve Ayers and actually work in his facility and, and make a pot or a bowl or a cup with your own hands. That's going to be really neat. And that sign up is at our website. And we're also working on a few more things that we're going to be telling about, uh, telling you guys about coming up shortly. Yeah, lots of activities. With Han Hannibal is just so, so much fun and there's lots to do there. So it's kind of like a destination homestead, homestead living conference. It's America's hometown. Yeah. Yeah. So also, um, you guys saw that I used the fire starters. We talked about those in a video a while ago. I'll actually leave that clip, that video right here for you guys. But we used the fire starters. They work super good. Summer, winter, anywhere, anytime you're starting a fire. You guys saw how easy that was. It takes right off. And I think in the last video I said that they were made with paraffin. 
and they're not. I totally made a mistake about it. They're not made with paraffin. They're all 100% natural, um, all natural oils and everything, no paraffin in them. So thank you for the ones that tried to correct me or actually did correct me uh, because paraffin is actually toxic and we wouldn't uh, uh, you know, promote anything like that that had paraffin in it. But in this video, we're actually gonna give away a box of these things to one person. We're gonna randomly select a comment down below so I want you to leave a comment down below and just say that you love the garden update and the conference sounds awesome. And then we're going to pick a winner out of uh, the comments down below and we'll tell you guys on a video coming up um, about that. So thanks a lot as always for watching our videos. Hopefully we'll see you in Hannibal August 12th and 13th. Hopefully like the garden update. Don't forget. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now we're going to enjoy our little bit of fire here. Wrap this video up and get ready to wake up tomorrow and do it all over again. <laughs> See you guys. Have a good night. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.